I woke up this morning and uh, we're gonna make his profit. I hope. <laughs> Got a sprocket here. Shout out to this guy right here. He's killing it today. There we go. It's all loaded up. So we're gonna touch it off. Make sure we're about 60 thou from the material. Another project we cut today. We got all our sprocket guards roughed out. Got all the material we cut out of there. Just gonna let him touch off. We'll walk back over. Amazing cuts. That's why we bought the machine. Gets cut on here. Goes over here for op two. Comes out just like that. That's a sprocket guard. So between a water jet and a mill, you can make that happen. Welcome back. Welcome back. Ah, uh, yeah. <laughs> well, that's that's the best part. We're actually going to tap the holes. You guys can see how we got that drawn out. Yeah, we're actually going to cut these holes to make sure we can tap them. And like I said, getting that spline cut so it actually fits the motor is going to be key. That's a sick. And guys, we're just using some scrap material we got laying around. It's just a test cut. We're just having fun with it today. Training us today. So pretty excited about uh, learning a couple more tricks today on how to use this machine. Well, this is exciting. How do we do? Well, the first file we cut out? Yeah. Yeah, we're gonna use that for mock-up. Then this one's the one with the holes. Gotcha. Yeah, so. There you go, test our sprockets out, non-heat treated. Yeah, right. Yeah, make it around the building, about it. Brand new. Yeah. Yeah. And yeah, we're doing big wheel kits on those and trikes, so. Oh, man. I mean, you, you can. Oh. oh man, showing his skills. All right, you hold that up to that. How do we do? Sick, man. We'll touch it up and tap the holes. Yeah. We have to clock them. Yeah. Not bad though, man. Damn. Oh, well, see if it fits that other bike, right? Yeah. Let's go check. Things fit perfectly with Harbor Freight. Yes, they do. Harbor Freight. <laughs> All right. Look at that. Unbelievable. Dude, that is like. Damn. Wish I, could, wish I could zoom in more. All right, so we could yeah. you get a little little wiggle there, but. But we gotta get it out. But here, put this one on. How much wiggle does the sock one have? These are the same bikes. Not yeah. the same. What are you doing? Same, here? if not more. So one's a trike, one's a big wheel, um, but we might just do two big wheels. We'll see. Uh, hey, you killed it, man! I appreciate it. Yeah, thanks. For You're welcome. Cool. I'll tap, boxer. I'll tap these holes out real quick. Yeah, the fact that we're able to draw this in the software and, like I said, this is just mild steel for testing. But if we are gonna ever do them, we're gonna step up our game on the material and actually heat treat them. See what John's up to. I think he's running the parts we just cut out. I'm not sure, but I think it did it. Yeah, it looks good. Awesome. So I'll show you guys how this actually started from the beginning. So when you get this software, you can actually pick sprocket, custom sprocket. So let's just say bicycle 420. Teeth are a little pointier than I'd like, but we could tweak that later. Got your chain pitch, roller size, all that fun stuff. So more or less, we started with this shape. 
and then the rest of it the rest of it was just measuring and uh, we just hand drew this projected it all the way around we got our whole our bolt pattern on there going off this plate right here we cut that to the size of a tap so we're actually gonna hand tap that and see if it works now so I'm gonna go check and see how Drew's doing and see if he's got that tap yet We don't got time for oil. No, we don't. Spit on it. Yeah, just just spit on it. It's fine. All right, guys, we got ourselves a sprocket right here. Let's get it on the bike, and just for the hell of it, it's not gonna last. It's just mild steel, but we're gonna try it out, see how it fits, and uh, go from there. Let's put it on the bike. Yes, I can't believe the quality of that cut right there. It would cost probably a thousand bucks to get a brooch tool from my lathe just to cut that cut that out of the center there. Did that on the water jet in literally seconds. Put this bike back together. Okay, I'm gonna put the camera down. Sprockets on. We got Alex. We'll just have to torque those after we put the chain on. Yeah, yeah she's pretty she's pretty snug, man. She's got this about the same tolerance as the uh, the sprocket that came on this bike. Won't lie to you guys, I was pretty bummed. It's pretty bummed seeing China on these bikes, but I understand they gotta cut costs somewhere. Well, it fits, so that is a plus. Shouldn't have to adjust anything because we didn't change the size of the sprocket. Master links right there. But we're gonna leave the leave the guard off of this and uh, lower this bike down, try it out. Drew, you want to ride it? Yeah, sure. Okay. So we're going to leave the cover off because we want to inspect this thing. Yeah, Drew made it, so he gets to ride it. Did, did we spin the wheel around? It, it's good. It's yeah. He's going to do that again. Hell yeah. Yeah, we're pumped right now. You said sprocket. I was like, let's make a damn sprocket. How's she holding up? Let's take a look see. It looks man, dude. <laughs> it looks man. For mild steel, I'm impressed. Yeah. Mild, unhardened mild steel. Oh yeah. Yeah, something, right? <laughs> oh. Rocket check. There's like almost nothing at all. Like it's mint. She's mint. This thing's awesome. all steel's fine for a 110. Apparently. Dude, this is great. I'm like <laughs> yeah, yeah, really yeah. happy. Right there, there's the guy of the, the hour. <laughs> <laughs> this is our guy right here. Yeah, this is our guy right here. <laughs> you didn't know you were making a sprocket today and seeing it on a bike, right? I woke up this morning and uh, we're gonna make it proper. Yep. <laughs> now you
All right, let's get spin around here. Got the new flag on here, showing the merch off. You'll see it. You'll see it on there. Yep, she looks good. A little water jet action. Kind of want to tack it in right now. Do it. 